Hey, what's going on you guys? Tyson Ella Cruz here. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Feeling like you're not successful enough? Like everyone is more ahead than you? Like everyone's doing more, better than you? Guilty as f Watch your profanity. The psychological trait that successful people appear to have is a concept coined by Carol Dweck. This concept is called the growth mindset. Many of you might have heard of this. People with a growth mindset believe that intelligence or skill in any field can be developed through effort. Basically saying that anybody can do anything if they put their mind to it. The inverse to the growth mindset is something called a fixed mindset. People with this mindset believe that intelligence and skills are innate, something that we're born with. We are either born gifted or we're not. Absolutely no room for change. This is what people with a fixed mindset believe. In this video, I'm going to go over ways to help you better develop your growth mindset. We already talked about what the growth mindset is and all the things that it can actually help you achieve. Yes, and let me tell you one thing that it is not. The growth mindset is not magic. I get it, I get it. Some of you might be watching this and saying to yourself, Man, I already know what the growth mindset is, man. I already know what the growth mindset is, the fixed mindset. I don't need to watch this shit. I'm gonna turn this shit off. I get it. That, my friends, though, is a live example of a fixed mindset. So if I just called your ass out right now, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to the channel. As many of you know, we are actually a mixture of a fixed mindset and a growth mindset. Some areas of our life, we operate with a growth mindset. And in other areas, we might operate in a fixed mindset. I want you to think of these two mindsets as a pair of glasses. We have our growth mindset glasses, and we have our fixed mindset glasses. Some people wear the growth mindset glasses more than others, and some people wear the fixed mindset glasses more than others. However, we wear both of these glasses in different situations of our lives. Although we should strive to wear the growth mindset glasses more frequently than the fixed mindset glasses, but why, you ask? Well, research suggests that people with a growth mindset happen to be, well, more successful. People with a growth mindset are much more resilient, which allows them to overcome challenges and difficult situations. Simply put, growth-minded individuals prioritize learning over failure and are less afraid to take risks. On the other hand, Thank you, my child. I made them by hand. <laughs> <laughs> fixed mindset individuals believe that intelligence and skill are fixed, so they don't even try. Basically stating that fixed mindset individuals take failure as an assault on who they are as humans. Researchers believe that a growth mindset maps very nicely with our ever-evolving reality. Thanks to the field of neuroscience, we know that the brain can continue to learn up until the day that we die. It also seems quite intuitive that you either use it or you lose it. You gotta use the brain muscle. Growth-minded individuals are living more in accordance to our reality because everything is changing all the dang time. Let's take entrepreneurship for example. A fixed mindset entrepreneur will come across roadblocks along his journey to success. The journey is in the way of what actually matters to them, the result. This fixed mindset entrepreneur believes that things shouldn't be this hard and they end up quitting. On the other hand, a growth-minded entrepreneur sees this long, arduous journey ahead, looks at the journey and says, that's what entrepreneurship and, and life is about. It's about the journey. The journey is what actually matters. Taking a role as continuous student in this game of entrepreneurship and life, accepting the journey as the path. This long, rough journey will actually mold you into the person that you need to become to actually achieve results. We know that things take time. They take time, effort, and strategy and sometimes can be difficult to achieve. It often can be difficult to put this growth-minded concept into practice. So how do we develop a growth mindset? It's actually super simple. Here are four steps to help you develop a growth mindset. Number one, just 
know that the growth mindset exists. Neuroscience shows that our brains are very malleable, that they can extend and expand, and we can always learn and develop new skills up until the day that we die. Number two, focus on the process not the results. You studied very hard for that exam and your hard work paid off. Sounds and feels so much better than you're smart, you got an A. Focus on the process. It is all about the journey. Want to know more about the journey? Go ahead and click my video on the journey right here. It's definitely not easy to hand over a growth mindset to other people. Simply telling somebody to work harder doesn't work. The individual needs to internalize that they can change the result just simply by changing the process. If you're struggling to start a process, A, you, you gotta start a process. Then once you start the process, adjust and make little tweaks to that process. And through making the adjustments of that process, that's when you actually receive the results. And in order to track your progress, put it down in a journal and review it every couple weeks or months so you can refine your process to achieving better results. Third tip on developing a growth mindset. Seek advice from peers or teachers. Ask them about their process and see how their process measures up to your process. You might find something in their process that you would like to adopt and place in your process to refine your process to achieve better results. Start reading books of people that you admire and find details about their process that you can incorporate in your own. Lastly, tip number four. Do things that challenge you. To even faster your growth mindset, you gotta step out of your... Welcome to the comfort zone. People that don't often leave their comfort zone believe that their success is from their innate talent. I've been there. I've been there in my life and in my business. It's not so much about avoiding the comfort zone. It's just the recognition of when you actually land in it and when you decide to actually make a change. So now you know a little bit more about the growth mindset, why it's important, and some ideas on how to develop it better. Keep in mind, it's going to take a lot of effort to develop, and it's always going to be an internal, continuous battle. There you have it, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button down below. And if you've ever dealt with somebody that had a fixed mindset and you have a growth mindset and you know how difficult it is to work with people with a fixed mindset, leave that in the comment section below. Also, if you feel that somebody is going to resonate with this content, go ahead and share it with they ass. Just, just share it with they ass. If you have not subscribed to this channel, you get to go ahead and click that subscribe button down below and make sure that your notifications are turned on. Guys, as always, I hope you have a phenomenal day. Be kind. Rewind. Peace.